Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to show you the bits and pieces that we picked up at Disney World in Florida. And we didn't get as much as we normally do, or I didn't get as much as we normally do. Um, but I will show you what I've got and other bits and pieces from Sephora, Bath and Body Works, Target, and the outlets. A few different places really. So let's get into it. So basically everybody knows that you get some freebies when you go to Disney. So the first freebie is, is obviously our magic bands, which lets you into your room. Um, you can use it to put your debit card on too, so you can pay with it and pay at the end, which we did a few times with our like character meals and stuff. Um, <coughs> when we got into our um, hotels, the Caribbean Beach Resort, there was a little surprise of a little pack of pins because they're under construction at the moment. They've um, given, us, given us some pins. Don't let um, the construction put you off booking the resort or this resort, especially because we didn't hear any of it. It was still so quiet and peaceful and so beautiful. We just love this resort so much. Um, but these are such a nice little gift that we got when we got into the room. You got a mini, a Donald and a Goofy. Yeah, it's a nice little surprise when you go into the room. Um, what else? Let's do the pins since it's over here. So Jason likes to, when we go to the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, Jason likes to get the limited edition pins. So we've picked up a few. So we've got the first one that we got was this um, mini one. And this was $16.99 before tax. And then the next one, oh, they all fit. Oh, it's taken off all the backs and they've just stabbed me. They also spin around. I don't know if you can see. It's just got like a wheel that spins around behind. Quite cute. And then there's a Chippendale one as well, which was also the same price at $16.99. This one also spins. And then he got the Make It's Not So Scary 2018 pin, which was fifteen dollars and two cents, which is very random. That one. And then I surprised Jason one day. He was feeling a little bit down one day. I kept him a little bit ill, I think. So I went into Magic Kingdom and picked this one up for him because he likes Jack Skeleton. So this one, yeah. You can see that with a shine on it. I can't remember how much this one was, it just says silver on the back. I think it was about $10, $9.99, something like that. And then the only other pit, oh sorry I'm moving, I've got pins and needles on the floor. The only other pin I got is Rock and Roller Coaster because it's the first time that I went on it on my own because Jason doesn't like it. So I just picked up the icon could the running rolling rolling rock and roller coaster on my own and this was yellow which was I think was a similar price maybe ten ninety nine something like that. That's all the pins that we picked up. Um, and we always have to get a magnet. Normally we get the year magnets, but I didn't want to carry on getting the year magnets because they were a little bit boring. So we picked up one from the Pandora, the new. This is the first time we've been to um, Avatar Land or Pandora. So we picked up the Pandora fridge magnet, which is like a gold bronzy color. And then it's the red price range, whatever that means. If you want to know prices, I have got receipts for everything, so just um, comment below and I will try to um, find out all the prices for you. This was around $10 as well, I think. 
And then we went to Typhoon Lagoon one day and decided to pick up a mug. So these are about, I'm not very good at prices, about $13. And um, then you can fill it up throughout the day. Put a straw in there, but they're quite big. If you see my hands, so you can fill it up with like any type of Coke or fizzy or anything or water. They're quite handy. Uh, but that's just, we picked up the green one. That's just got Minnie, Mickey, Donald and Goofy with Disney Parks. Rapid refill. They're quite handy to take to the parks and quite actually I've been having it at home as well to take to work or to um, have when I go to bed for some water. Quite a fun thing to do. And this year we went to the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party again. Um, and you can go in from four o'clock into Magic Kingdom and they give you like a wristband. So we just, um, Jason managed to um, squeeze his off his hand. <laughs> so it's still like in perfect roundness. So that's just a little band that you get. And you go in with loads of candy corns around. We had a purple one this time. Pretty cool thing to keep. And then I always get an Alex and Ani, or, we, or I try to. Um, this year I was going to get the Dumbo one. The Dumbo one comes with a little Dumbo charm, so you get like two charms, which is pretty cool. But then when we went to the Halloween party, um, I saw that they did Halloween, the Halloween party themed ones this year, which is really cool. So I picked that one up. I don't know whether you can see. Mickey and Minnie and a castle and it's got Mickey's Halloween party 2018 pretty cool and I think this was like a normal price of $45 something like that we actually picked up a few um, Halloween themed goodies this time so I've always looked at this one always really liked it so this year I did pick it up it's a little tea light holder got a little top here it's like ceramic so it is quite it's actually quite light for what it is and it was actually quite cheap it was $16.99 says happy Halloween who do you find you so that's really cute to have We've decorated the house a little bit with Halloween this year, so that's such a cool thing to put on the side with a little tea light in. And then, oh, here she is Mini Halloween Mini. So she's gonna come out and sit on our couch at Halloween, too. Look how cute! A little hat on the bow, and she's got a little cape, and she's got a little skull. So cute, the orange shoes. And she what? Oh, look at her cape on the inside, I've just realised. It's got all pumpkins and everything on. And she, oh, I've taken the tag off. I think she was $29.99. But like I said earlier, just let us know if you want any prices for anything. And I'll have a look at the receipts and let you know. This is up there. When we went to the Halloween party, um, everybody knows that you pick up some treat mod. I don't know if anybody knows, but you pick up some treat bags. And this year it has um, The Incredibles 2 on one side and Ralph Breaks the Internet, which we're so excited about because we love um, Bracket Ralph. But it's so good, this film. And then basically you go to different stations around Magic Kingdom and... Um, they give you some treats, so they give you a handful of treats like this. So you've got Snickers, M&M's, Snickers, Rice Krispie things, Milky Way. So we have got a load of goodies, and this is mostly m and peanuts because we didn't like them. So I'm probably going to give them away to work actually. But we had two bags really full up full of these who we've been eating because we've been back for like probably nearly three weeks now. I keep meaning to do this all, but we've eaten quite a lot of the stuff. So 
So that was from the Halloween party. That's a good thing to do when you're there. It's really fun. And what should we do next? So we met up with um, actually actual satisfaction Amanda and Mitch this year, which was really cool. We really. Um, glad we met them this time they're such lovely people but I'll link their vlog channel down below so check that one out definitely go up and subscribe to their channel they're so lovely but they took us to the um what's it called cast connections um which is a place where any cast members can go or they can take people there and they get Disney World merchandise for cheaper so we went there and picked up a few things so for Christmas I got my niece a Frozen t-shirt which has the castle, some snow and Elsa and Olaf Olaf, sorry not Olaf <laughs> oh, and it's so cute and in the parts this is originally 19.99, and I picked it up for 4 99 so that was a good bargain <laughs> and then we got some friends which don't actually know yet that we've got them this um, but look at this she recently found out she's pregnant so we picked them up the little baby grow how cute is this it's just stripy on the back and like it's got Mickey's body with a Walt Disney World Oh, that's so cute, it's like a new little baby born. Baby grow. So pick that up from the outlets as well. And also we saw a photo frame in um, Animal Kingdom. This Pandora photo frame. It's actually really heavy and it's like proper made, it's proper solid. Um, this was um, normally $21.99 but we actually picked it up for $7.99 what a bargain we were actually going to pay $20 for this because it's such a nice frame it's literally got a banshee some handprints so nice I can't wait to put a picture of us looking at Pandora in that one bargain the camera clashing so it may die on me in a minute um, the last, oh I got the phone case so I don't know if you've, everybody's seen this already but this is the D-Tech phone case that I got in um, Disney Springs it's got Magic Kingdom Animal Kingdom Epcot and Hollywood Studios and it says Walt Disney World at the bottom there and I think this was about $35 again but I will link the prices for you if you do ask just ask down in the comments and of course also I picked up the pink millennial pink ears obviously I had to pick them up because I'm such a pink kind of girl so I had to pick them up um, they're around 20 to 25 dollars I think as well and obviously the spirit jersey so it's a long sleeve spirit jersey and it's so cosy and I wish I picked up more spirit jerseys because they're so comfortable but this was around $59, $60 for this one and the last thing we picked up from Disney oh in the Japan pavilion we always like to get some sweets so we picked up these sweets these are 3 dollars oh, I don't have a clue what they are because they've got no English on them whatsoever so that'd be fun to try those out. Oh, I'm so excited to film this haul so that we could try these. It just says cool soda candy, flavoured candy, that's all it says in English. I haven't got a clue at all what they are. That'd be fun to try these. They feel like they're hard, like hard boiled sweets. But we'll see. We'll let you know how that goes. Um, the last thing we got is Disney, oh, Disney Springs. Had to 
get some bath bombs. So now that we live together and before I didn't have a bath because mum and dad just had a shower um, and now I can get some bath bombs. So I filled this up as much as I could with bath bombs. Oh, smell. So I got a few of the little Mickey ones that give you Mickey confetti when they go in the bath. And then I've got a few, I won't get them out because it'll be messy. But a few other big ones as well. So I'm excited to try those. I might start that tonight actually, I might have a bath. Um, the last Disney thing, oh, we'll save that for in a minute. So when you're on the dine, quick service dining plan, basically you get two meals and two snacks a day um, each. Now because we ate in Tusker House and we had um, uh, the Crystal Palace, that's it, the breakfast with Winnie the Pooh and everybody, um, that doesn't class as a quick service meal. So we had a few spare. And on the last day we went to Disney Springs and we went into the Goofy shop and asked how many we had left and she said 15 between us. So one meal equals three snacks. So we had 42 snacks to eat, to pick up and bring home. 42. And um, with a whole box full of goodies. Now let me just rest this here. Basically we picked up three little box, little like boxes of candy corn cotton candy sorry candy floss so three of these haven't tried this one yet the jungle punch so I've got two of those and I've just been eating these these are so nice Mickey's puffed cheese crackers Chippendale snack so they're like little cheesy biscuits we call them in the UK little cheesy like cheese savouries so they're so nice, I'm going to eat them in a minute. And then we picked up about five boxes of the Minnie's character cookies. These are really nice. So we picked up a few of those. Um, and there's different ones now. There's Animal Kingdom one, Animal Crackers. So I'm yet to try these, but I presume they taste like the mini ones. They're nice. I picked up some lollies, cars one, and I gave a Mickey and Minnie one to my niece. We picked up three boxes of the of the mints. Didn't realise it was some water winter green mints, um, which tastes like airwaves. If you're from the UK, I'm not sure. They're like menstrual ones. I'm not a big fan, but Jason likes them. But they're like in the shape of characters. I don't know whether you can see. Quite cute. <coughs> <coughs> Jason picked up three packets of sweet marshmallows, round heart, and a bow. This is like one snack as well. And then literally, we've picked up, I would say about 30 bags of Goofy Candy Company sweets. <laughs> These are character gummies. And we haven't tried these before. Mickey shaped licorice, like red licorice. Just loads of different ones. Sours, and they've got the Lion King stuff, so they've got some... Lion King sweets there as well. So literally there's a whole big box full of loads of goodies that we can eat. We've actually ate quite a lot of these already. So the last purchase that I bought actually was this Dooney and Back purse. So I've got the sketch design I think it's called. 
also it's got all of those, it's got the castle, the balloons, ears, it says the full tink, a rose and Cheshire cat and Mickey and Minnie, Cinderella's chew, Walt Disney World, Dumbbell and it has a strap or a little thing that you can open up and inside it's red and it's got some card holders and a certificate there and a little zip in the middle for your change it's not very easy to open there so I thought this was so cute and I was having an hour in for all holiday about whether to get one or not because I have got a couple of billion back bags and purses um, and then on the last day we met up with our friends Ashley and Emma who are now annual pass holders and they get 20% off now of all merchandise so they were like do you want do you want anything so we can get you 20% off and I was like oh I don't know I don't know when to get it and then like right at the last minute after we watched the Star Wars fireworks I was like yes yes I want to get it before we leave so I'm glad I did. It's $158 normally. I think I got it for just over $100. $120 maybe. I think I got about $30 off. So I love it. That's my new purse for the winter. And then <coughs> I think that's all the Disney stuff unless I've forgotten anything. And then we went to Target, let me tell you a few things that we picked up in Target. So I love the mac and cheese, craft mac and cheese. So I've got two boxes of the mac and cheese craft. This one is thick and creamy and this one is the spirals. I don't know how much you want to see this but this is what we bought, this is what I bought. And then we also saw, oh I know I forgot, which we've probably eaten, actually I think we've got one bar of the Garadelli chocolate from Disney Springs. So one snack is five bars of chocolate. So I got the salted caramel bars of chocolate, so I picked up five bars for one snack credit. So that's another good do to use um, on the snack credit it's five bars of chocolate five <laughs> so that's a good one but I think I've left it in I don't know where they are actually and then in Target we picked up the Garadelli double chocolate premium brownie mix with chocolate chips mm. so now that I've in this haul I can make these so excited so excited, I love the chocolate and if you've never been in there just go in there and they'll hand you a little free sample um, to try, oh so nice, you'll end up spending a lot of money in there, so nice. And then in, the, I can't remember whether in California I think last year um, we discovered M&M's Caramel and I've eaten all of these already. And look, but look at the size, a family size bag of M&M's. This is crazy, there's so many, but I have, I did pick them up quite early on on the holiday, so it has taken me quite a while to eat them. But they are so nice. And these in America are so cheap. This was like $4, I think. Three, no, in fact, it was $3, like two quid or something like that. And it's massive, look at the size of my hand. It is so big. They are yummy. And then, if you know me, you know that I like eggs. And I nearly didn't open these until I filmed the haul, but I just couldn't wait. So I bought another big packet of eggs. These are about $7, but you get 105 little packets of airheads so I discovered these when we went to the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party in 2015 
you know, they give them out in the treat stations and they're like little little bits of candy this one's a cherry you can either have cherry and my favorite is pink lemonade or blue raspberry but they're so nice but look at the size of this bag like you don't get anything like this in England it's for, I think it's for Halloween all their sweets in Target are just so big like this it's just crazy it's crazy In America, in the UK, the sweet side, the sweet bags are getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and more and more and more expensive. So we went to the outlets in premium outlets, I think, in on International Drive. We went into a shop called Agai, Agai, A G A I, something like that, and I bought some tri stripy, lightweight trousers. They're like cinching at the waist. Got a tie here. They're back, just above the ankle really thin cotton these were like $15 really cheap so it'd be ideal for summer evenings I really like those more and then we went into Bath and Body Wax and picked up some hand sanitizers like you do like we all do and I picked up a mermaid at heart sanitizer your magic these were all five five for six dollars I believe in humans with a little unicorn ghoul friend the Halloween inspired one and also my unicorn made me do it so the, like I said, these are five for six dollars and they're so cute to take to work and keep in your handbag. This smells so nice. So I can't wait to use all of those. That's all I've got in Bath and Body Works. And then I went into Sephora and didn't buy as much as normal. But I'll show you what I did buy. I bought a pineapple because I love pineapples. I love everything pineapple. So I just put that straight in my basket. Pineapple face mask. Oh, I'll put this. This is an EOS lip balm, which I think I got in Target actually. I don't know why it's in there. That was like two dollars or something like that, crazy. Whereas over here they're so expensive. I picked up a beauty blender, <coughs> a blue one, sapphire instead of the normal pink one. I love, I bought last year I bought some of this, the um, Too Faced Peach Collection, so I bought another lipstick in, this one is Make Me Blush, it smells so nice, it's the smell of peaches, that's just a, a light pink, natural pinky shade. Which has a little, I started using it already, but it has the little indentations, the little peaches. I don't know whether you can see. I wanted to try the, everyone goes on about the Laura Mercier translucent, tran, translucent loose setting powder. So I picked up the little trial size. I'm going to give that a try see what that's like and I picked up a I had false eyelashes on like individual eyelashes when I went to Florida um, but I wanted to try a new mascara because my mascara has gone a bit um, dry so I picked up this tiny little one um, bad girl bang from benefit just to try it and actually it's really good and I used it on my lower lashes so the little size actually was really good for my little lashes, my little lower lashes. So that was that was really nice. I got was the watermelon 
lip balm and it's such a nice watermelon smell it smells like my airheads nice so for a card um they gave me a free birthday treat my birthday was back in august so i got the fenty beauty primer just like a little trial size one to try and that's it so thanks very much for watching our haul um i hope you like the things it's not we didn't get much this time um because we didn't have much money um but this is what we got i'm not bragging um this isn't sponsored or anything but i just wanted to share everybody what i got and i hope you enjoyed it and thanks so much for all uh, your comments like subscribes everything we we really appreciate it we can't believe that we've reached 1000 subscribers it's just crazy to us we didn't think that we would get one we, we just document basically we just document um our holiday just for our records we like watching our videos all the time um just for memories so thanks very much guys bye